quite a number of years ago, almost 25 now, when I was acting warden of Tyndale House in Cambridge, uh, an LXX, a Septuagintal scholar who knew Greek and Hebrew very well, but not much New Testament, um, he came to me with some inquiries. He, he had stumbled across what was being called the new perspective on Paul, and he wanted to know what uh, Tom Wright was saying. He had read some bits of him here and there and couldn't quite understand where he was going. So I tried to lay it out, and when it came to justification, I said, because at that point, this is what Tom held, he's modified his view since, he, Tom holds that justification in the New Testament is God's declarative act by which we are incorporated in the people of God. This Septuagintal scholar stopped me and interrupted and said, does Tom know any Greek? Because you see, for someone steeped in the Greek language, the dik word group, dik kaiosune, dik kaios, dik kaiao, is bound up with the notion of righteousness and justice. So without wanting to deny for a moment that in God's salvific work, he does incorporate us covenantally into the people of God. Of course, that's true. The question is, is that what this word group is about? Now, Tom himself, to his credit, has modified his views since then and now says that justification is that act by which God declares sinners just and declares them in the covenant. Which means it is wrong to say that Tom denies historic justification. But nevertheless, the center has been shifted, the focus of his attention has been shifted to incorporation in the covenant. And what I would want to say is, incorporation in the covenant is of foundational importance and has absolutely nothing to do directly with this word group. We're back to the notion of the justice of God.